Hello and welcome to a new video about safety. Yeah? This time we are talking about the safety in tattoo in te again, again, <laughs> safety integrity, safety integrity level seal. seal. I will call it seal. Sorry from now. Seal, seal levels. Yeah, safety integrity level. Yeah, seal. I write it down. Safety integrity level. This is according the standard EN EC six two zero six one. Okay, safety integrity level. Last video we talked about the performance level. This is pretty much the same. Yeah, so we do somehow distinguish or make an observation what is the necessary seal level yeah? and then we do an assessment or an evaluation what is the reached seal level yeah? and the reached seal level must be higher or equal to the necessary seal level. This reached seal level, yeah? this is not that easy uh, you know, there are things in slides like uh, hardware failure tolerance, there are safety architecture things inside, there are uh, probability or the amount of safe failures in relation to, the, to all possible failures, then there's the probability of hardware failures inside and this is uh, being mixed up. Yeah? I will name in the end two, two uh, standards where this is described a little bit. Uh, but first we're going to talk about uh, how we can distinguish what sea level we have to reach. Yeah? This is slightly different from the performance level. Here we have uh, some things we have to take into account. So, one thing is the so-called severeness. Uh, S. Severeness. That's simply a value, yeah? and if it's one, yeah, then the potential potential injuries they're reversible, yeah? however, first aid is required. Okay. Then two, these are also reversible. Yeah? However, here it's required to have a medical professional, okay? See a doctor. Here the prof medical prof professional is required. So here, here does a patch, here no longer, okay? Then three, not reversible. So here we're talking about injuries which are simply not, which will simply not heal as good as it was before. So we have broken bones here. We have loss of fingers. Something like this. It will never be as before. Okay. And then four, also not reversible, but pretty tough. Yeah. So here we are talking about loss of eye, yeah, arm, whole arm, yeah? or even death. Yeah? This is the severeness. Yeah? How severe are my injuries? Yeah? So, and then we take a look at the dangers. Okay, this is the severeness, and now we take a look at the dangers. And we're talking about the frequency, okay? F. How frequent are we exposed to this danger? Yeah? So if there is one, yeah, then it's maybe once a year. Yeah. Once a year or even less. So we are greater than one year. Yeah? 
all the years or even less yeah, is the frequent. Then do means basically every month, around every month. In detail, this means less than one year, yeah, but longer than two weeks. Then we have three. This is roughly weekly, yeah, so every week. Actually, this is shorter than two weeks, but longer than one day. Then we have four, every day. So this is you, this is then smaller than one day, but bigger than one hour. Okay, and then we have five every hour, or even more. Yeah? So this means smaller than one hour. More than one hour. It's the frequency, also with numbers, eh? categories. Then there is the probability of how likely this danger will appear to me. Eh? The frequency, how often it may appear, and now we have the probability how often it really appears. Okay, so this is this is W probability. And here we have three, it means it's possible. It's possible that this appears, uh, not very likely, but possible. Yeah. Four is likely. It's likely that this appears. We will see it. Yeah. And five is very likely. So you have a here you have a small chance that you will, it will not appear. Here you have a small chance that it will appear. Here it will appear. Yeah. Probability. And then there's the avoidability. Yeah. Avoidability. This P. Avoidability. And this is Am I able to avoid those dangers? Okay, how likely it is? Yeah, one means it's easy avoidable. Yeah, I can avoid often. It's very likely to avoid this danger. This danger has come to me. I see it. I can avoid it. Yeah. Three means sometimes. Sometimes I'm able to avoid the danger to hit me. Yeah? And five, not possible. Huh? Five means eh, it's simply no longer possible to avoid this. If this danger is there, it hits me. Yeah? I see it. If I see it, it's already too late. Not possible. With these things here, yeah? combination of these strings we select or we have determined the so-called class so the class k is frequency plus probability plus avoidability and then we have reached a certain class these are the two things these are the two things the severeness and the class okay the class is then also consisting of several sub elements. Yeah. Then there is a matrix yeah, which shows which SIL level we need from our control system. Yeah. So here we write the class 3 to 4 is one area, 5 to 7 is one area, 8 to 9 is one area, yeah. Then 11 to 13 is one area, and 14 to 15 is one area. Okay. This is the class. And here we have the severeness. Yeah. 
So we have CVNS. Four, three, two, one. And still no three levels, or it means four levels. Yeah. Here we would need C level two. Yeah. Here we would need C level two. Here we would need C level two. Here we need three. Here we need three. Three is the top level. Okay. Here we do other things. Not nothing. But other things, yeah? it's not a required C level, but you have to take care about this. Here is enough C level 1. Yeah? And here we do other things. 3, here is 2, here is 1, here we do other things. Yeah? And this is 3, 2, 1. Okay? So basically this means here the class, I mean 14, what does it mean? And it, 5 and 5 and 5, 15, yeah, so it's very frequent, more than one hour, it's very likely disappears and it's not possible to escape, yeah, here we need C level 1, even if we have, if we just did a patch, yeah, so this is how we can determine the, this is the required seal, okay. This is the required seal we can read out of this matrix according to those values. And then I said we have the reached seal, and this is uh, you can read this in the in the standards EN 61508 and EN 61511. This is pretty complicated, yeah. There are numbers inside, so there is the hardware failure tolerance. There's the safety, ar safety architecture uh, also included. There's the amount of errors which are uh, uh, safe, depending on the, or, or in relation to the total amount of errors. There's the probability of hardware failures. There's the usage, usage time and so on. And depending on these values, we have then a reached seal. And if this reached seal is equal or higher than the required seal, it's considered to be safe. Of course, yeah, of course, it's the goal to reduce the required seal level as much as possible, because it's simply not that easy to reach seal level 3. Yeah? There is a claimed seal level from the manufacturers, then you have to multiply it down with your, uh, then with your usage time, then there is also the interval of, of checking and so on. Pah, 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 pah. There are some things written inside these standards here, and from these the reached seal level can be read out simply. Yeah? Safety, integrity, integrity, blah, blah, blah. Safety, integrity level. This is how this is working, okay? From the principle. So this was risk assessment. We said risk assessment is uh, uh, required simply. Yeah? We said the first sentence in the in the uh, directive for machinery do risk assessment. Yeah? And we said one step of the risk assessment is to to see if the risk is if the risk is low enough or not. Is the machine safe? And we if not, we have to take measures. So in the next video, we are going to talk about which measures we can take. Yeah? We are talking about protective measures. Okay? This is then in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.